outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, we're trying live testing a new healthy candy. Okay, so you know how Smart Sweets is a brand that does like healthier, you know, candies, lower sugar, yada, yada, like gummy bears, whatever, like they do that. There's a few like candies that I like and then a few that just like are not it for me. Um, but overall, I feel like the brand is like, I don't really know another one that, that that's, that's like that popular. I see Smart Sweets literally everywhere. The gummy worms they have are super good. I love their Coca-Cola ones, um, but I have a new brand. So they did send this to me as like a pure package. So I'm excited to try it. They're called Snack Owl. I had never heard of them and never tried them. Um, then they emailed me and they were like, do you want to try this? And I was like, hmm, another healthy, like low sugar gummy brand? Let's try it. So it looks like this is their variety pack, which is great. We love a variety. Hmm. They're packaged, not the similar, but similar. Like if you're looking at, let me grab my Smart Sweets so we can compare. Oh, this is great. I'm so ready for this. Okay, so this is a Smart Sweets package. This is the Snack Owl package. Comparison with these two, 90 calories, 100 calories. Four grams of sugar, three grams of sugar. Everything else is honestly pretty similar in the nutrition facts. Other than I would say probably the ingredients, like if you really go down in the ingredient list. This one has multiple different flavors. This is watermelon slices. Ooh, and peach bites. Ooh, Smart Sweets has a peach flavor and I don't like it, but I love peach candy. Okay, I just, let's try all of them. Off the bat, it smells better. It smells better than Smart Sweets. This smells more like a real candy. That is what they look like. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh. It's definitely sour and chewy. I was expecting the first bite to be like harder, but it just went right in there and I was like, whoa. I've only tried two of the flavors so far. Um, I'll, I'll just say honestly, they're better than the Smart Sweets. Like, they're be I would rather have this than these. They're a little too chewy for me. Like, when I bite into it, my teeth just like sink in, but they're like really soft, which is great. And they taste like regular candy to me. Like, I know when I taste this, it doesn't taste like Sour Patch Kids. You know what I'm saying? This, it tastes, it tastes honestly pretty good. All right, for the peach one, I really want to compare the two peaches because I really wanted to love this. I love peach ring candies. And I was so, like, kind of disappointed when I had this and I was like, this ain't it, sis. Like, I had to add a bunch of, like, tahine to make it, like, pretty good, but like again, they have other flavors that I do really enjoy. So FYI, both Smart Sweets and Snack Owl are both plant-based candies in case you're curious. But okay, let's compare the two peaches. I'm so excited. I haven't had this in a while for Smart Sweets, so it'll be really good for me to make a good comparison, I feel like. Oh, snap. Okay, so this is your Smart Sweets peach ring. This is your Snack Owl peach candy. Which do you think already like Honestly, it looks better because I'm gonna say this one. Like, it just look at that. Taste test. See, these smart choice ones are like so much harder, I feel like, to chill. That's why I was like, whoa, with this one. Mm. It tastes peach. It's not bad. It's just harder to chew. It's like, I don't know, I don't have the time for that. Things that take like a really long time or two, I'm like, I got better things to do. Like it's just taking way too long. There's a nice, I feel like a natural like peach flavor taste in there. Obviously nothing compared to the actual peach rings because the texture of it is so different. The real ones are like, you know, they have like that like softness, like it's like creamy. All right, snack owl. I'm so excited to try this. Hmm. I feel like I'm tasting less peach flavor, but the texture like biting into it is way more like a better real candy. I'm gonna have another one. Mm. I just wish I was getting more peach. Like I'm definitely getting more of the peach flavor from the Smart Sweets, but I prefer like this, this candy a lot better. So I'm gonna say snack out for the win on this one. And lastly, we have watermelon. I don't really care for any watermelon flavored candy, so 
I'm just gonna do it for the video, but we'll see how it goes. Smart Sweets, Snack Owl, both watermelon sliced flavors. Let's try this baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I opened the Snack Owl and the watermelon like smell just came through. Like it wasn't even near my face. I kind of love that. So I think, look at the comparison. Smart Sweets, Snack Owl. I feel like by now you can kind of get the gist of like the different like looks that they have. These do look more like real candy, right? Taste test. This one wasn't as hard to bite into. Mm -mm. Yeah, the watermelon's not for me. Like I love watermelons. I love watermelon, but I don't like watermelon flavored candy for some reason. I mean, it is like edible, but this one, I can just tell there's like some other type of sugar in there, you know, cause it's like healthy candy. I would not spend my time like eating this. Snack owl, don't disappoint me. I mean, you haven't so far. They really haven't. Mm. This is not bad at all. Just like the peach, I couldn't taste the watermelon as much. Maybe it's just like how they do their flavors, but I, I still know it's watermelon. But when you bite into it, it's just like softer. I don't know. It's just like a nice chewier texture that just makes it feel like, oh, I'm like really eating like candy, you know? I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell they even like look, you can just tell they like look different. Like they do look better than the Smart Sweets. Not to hate on my Smart Sweets. Because sometimes Smart Sweets do be coming through. They're worms. I love their worms. I love that, like I said, their Coca-Cola, their Twizzler one's pretty good. They do have some good flavors in there, but... Maybe the snack owl is about to be on the come up because I don't even like watermelon like that. And like this is a pretty good healthy candy substitute for when you're like really wanting that craving, but just maybe wanting something a bit healthier. Look, I'm, I'm here for it. I don't know if they're like a newer, smaller brand. I have no idea, but I'll go ahead and find them. And like them for you guys and if they did give me a discount code i'll link it as well if you want to try it i have no idea i just wanted to try it and test it out for you guys but it's definitely triumphing over smart tweets unless smart tweets has come up with some new things i don't i don't know i haven't tried any new stuff but i feel like i've tried them enough to be able to tell you that this is better sorry i'm about to make some steak it's about to be bun up come sometimes i'm like are my neighbors looking at me through the window and thinking i'm a crazy lady oh i'm so excited so i did mention in the other vlog that i've never made new york steak before so i hope it does good um i feel like what i've learned from my little cooking experiences is the basics for most like thicker steaks and meats that i found comes out the best way is cooking it in the cast iron skillet for a few minutes on each side um, and then putting it in the oven to finish up i think everything that i've like made like if i don't know how to make something like a meat and i'll do it that way usually always comes like that's the best way to feel like cook it so I'm gonna do the same thing here, but I'm gonna find a quick recipe um, that I can find. I'm sure it's just basic. I feel like steaks don't need much. Salt, pepper, a little bit of butter, and that's really it, you know? All right, I'm going back into my Love Island days. Speaking of Love Island, they're coming back in January for Love Island UK, not USA. Love Island UK, which I love, obviously, um, is coming back in January, and it's going to be like a winter Love Island type thing. Don't judge me, don't come for me. I probably sound quite awful since, you know, Love Island did end back in like June or July. I can't really remember. Um, and, um, you know, I haven't really had like a refresher. <laughs> right, I'm gonna stop. So I don't know what to make as a side with the steak. I'm actually the only one having steak. Preston's having leftover lasagna that I made in the other vlog. So I found like a few potatoes. I'm gonna just chop them up and like season it and like cook it in the cast iron. And 
hope it hope it comes out well like that. Um, I'm not gonna probably eat the whole steak. I normally don't. I just I usually eat like a fourth or a half of it and I get like pretty full. Oh, I'm so excited to try. I think I might have cooked it a little bit too long because I do like my steak. I would take a medium, medium well, but I do want like some pink in there. And I don't know, I didn't cut into it yet, but it might, I'll eat it regardless. But you know, you always learn. That's the thing about like cooking and stuff like now I know for next time exactly how I want to make it, if I want to add anything else, if I want to cook it for less time. You learn by doing, ladies and gentlemen. This is true. I always, when people try to explain things to me, I'm like, just stop, just let me do it. Because people talk, 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 and it sometimes goes in one ear and out the other, to be honest with you. Uh, I just rather, it's like, let's just get to it and you know, let me practice and maybe let's stop swinging the knife around. Mm -hmm.